What's up everyone, Reggie from Reggie Tech here. I hope you're all doing well and thanks for tuning into the channel. So it's been quite some time since I last posted any video and I apologize for that for you guys that avidly watch my videos. And for those of you that are new to the channel and just checking this out, thanks for tuning in and I hope you guys do tune in to watch more of the upcoming videos that I have coming up. Uh, well, uh, that all being said, it's been a really, really crazy two or three months. Uh, I think that's the span of time since I've last posted a video. There was so much going on and along with the pandemic, there's just been a lot more stuff, you know, either added to the plate or that have just been keeping things from moving along faster or as they normally should. Uh, with that being said, I do have a ton of new things, a lot of uh, projects and items that I've backed on Kickstarter. They're starting to arrive, which is awesome. I did also buy a couple new things that I'm sure you guys will be excited to see because I'm totally excited to get those things unboxed and show you guys how they work and how they look. Aside from that, I hope your fall and autumn season is going well so far. I mean, I think mine is. I've been going a couple places. I've been doing a lot of fall autumn stuff. I mean, this is probably one of my most favorite times of the year. And, uh, while we're talking about fall and autumn, I did come across these awesome pillowcases. They don't come as the pillows with the pillow stuffing and anything like that. They're just the pillowcases, uh, but I thought they were pretty cool. I found them on Amazon. Really does bring that vibe of the fall season. And if you guys are wondering about this little uh, blanket in the background, this little throw, uh, I got that from a local Rite Aid store. They just do those things as the seasons go along and they have some pretty cool stuff. So let's talk about some things that have been going on. So in my last couple of videos, I shared with you guys that I purchased a car, a first car in my adult life. And I was so excited because we could expand into all this automotive tech and all this other really cool stuff, you know, cleaning products and things that make the car looks ni look nice and things like that. Uh, I did get a couple of those videos ready and I am gonna edit them and I am still gonna share them with you guys because they were some pretty cool products that I found uh, like lights and I uh, can't remember if there was much else that I got to before I started you know, sending things back because I wouldn't need them anymore. So basically what happened was is that after pumping a couple hundred bucks into this car, I even bought brand new tires and stuff like that, uh, I found a leak and the leak was coming out of the transmission axle. Now it's something that I did want to repair and that I did want to get it fixed. However, while I was thinking about it and also while I was talking to my mechanic about it, it, it could be fixed and I, everything good could go smoothly, but there was always that chance that I could fix it and I could run into another issue after that or another issue while repairing that piece that needed to be changed out. So I took that uh, well into consideration for a couple of weeks, you know, and uh, I drove the car basically until it kept shutting down on me. There was just no, no fluid in that transmission anymore for it to run. Um, but uh, I decided just to get rid of the car. I tried to sell it locally and then I ended up going to a dealership and selling it there. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't say that that was a bad thing. I wouldn't say that that, you know, happened and it just got me all down. It kind of happened and made some good things out of it. You know, you always got to take the positives out of these things that happen. Sometimes there are misfortunate events, but they lead to something better. And uh, the thing that it led better to was it actually pushed me to go a little further and actually, you know, buy a certified pre-owned car from a dealership. And that's exactly what I did. The car was great. And then I started to run into issues with that car as well. Uh, maybe I've just been having some bad luck with cars so far, or I don't know what's going on, but uh, that situation has almost come to an end. Hopefully soon I will be getting a resolution to that. And once that resolution comes, I will be sharing that new vehicle with all of you and we'll be doing some pretty cool stuff to it. I mean, it's a new vehicle, so there's not much to upgrade. You know, I can't put in a new sound system. I can't put in a new uh, media console because it just wouldn't be worth it to do it. But there are some other cool things that we can try. I've been doing a lot of uh, research on YouTube and doing a lot of 
research on a bunch of different things. One cool thing I started to really get into is vinyl wrapping. And with the vinyl wrapping, I have uh, I pretty much set my mind to do some vinyl wrapping on this new car whenever it comes in. So I'll be sharing that process with you guys. It'll be my first ever time trying it. All I have is the knowledge of watching all the videos about vinyl wrapping. And so far, I'd like to say that I think I might actually have it down packed. I don't know, I'm more of the visual and hands-on learner. So that's typically how I learn things. I can't, uh, most of the time I just, you know, go out, start doing something, and I learn throughout the process. You know, I always learn through the mistakes that I make. And I think for me, that's the best way that I can possibly learn because without making the mistakes, I would never have even thought that that was something that was possible of happening. Uh, but aside from that, uh, I do have a couple really cool new additions. Um, I am still using the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus as my video recorder. Uh, it is a bit tough and you guys might see some weird cuts in here where I might be getting up or something. That's just to check on the time. To record in 4K at 60 frames per second, it can only do five minute videos at a time. So that has been a bit frustrating. I am working on trying to get a new camera, you know, maybe uh, just a regular camcorder, a 4K one, obviously. I wouldn't want to downgrade on any videos or anything like that, video quality. Um, but I have invested in a really cool monitor and I have invested in a really cool gaming chair uh, just to make things a lot more comfortable. And I also have a couple of cool DIY projects that you guys might find interesting and might find helpful that are soon to come up. I also have a couple of uh, speaker reviews and other little nicks and knacks, little tech stuff here and there that I do have for review as well. So I can't wait to get all that stuff out. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys a quick update on how everything's going, you know, and I hope everything is going well in all of your lives as well. With everything going on these days, you know, just got to be thankful for health and, you know, your family and everything like that. So, uh, aside from that, one other thing that happened was I did get terminated from my job. I was furloughed since, uh, I believe, April or May and uh, finally got terminated just a few days ago. So that's just a bit of the stuff that's happening, but you know what? Take this as a positive, and that's how I see it as well. I'm not gonna let that bring me down. I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing what I want to do, what I pursue to do. So I just want you guys to take that maybe as a bit of inspiration. Times are tough right now, but we'll get through this. Things will get better, and just gotta keep looking forward, keep looking up. So with that being said, you guys, uh, Thanks for watching this update video, uh, just to see how, I, I just want to let you guys know how everything was going, what's going on, uh, and that I do apologize for, you know, not posting any new videos recently. Uh, I have been planning so much things to do, and uh, I've also been a little busy doing some network projects. I've been doing some networking in a couple of the local churches. I've redid their entire network interface, uh, custom network, custom wiring. It's been really fun. And that's that's the stuff that I really love to do. Anything hands-on, really. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. So uh, with that being said, you know, as always, I hope you all stay healthy, stay well, and stay safe. And uh, look forward to my new videos. So if you guys like to see unboxings and you like to see tutorials on how to do things like install screen protectors, if you guys like to see reviews on brand new tech products, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel. I also do have a lot of DIY projects in the pipeline, so you guys should stay tuned for that. I have a couple on my channel already, so if you like DIY, go ahead and take a look at them. Maybe you might get some ideas or get some tips on how to do some stuff. I'm no professional, but I am trying my best to do uh, pretty much what I love to do. And this is what I love to do. So uh, with that being said, you guys, I hope you all stay well, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you all soon with some new videos.